This week's episode is sponsored by Jones Lang LaSalle. My name is Fritz Prunder. I'm uh, CEO and co founder of Brand Live. Brand Live is a live video e commerce platform. Essentially, we do our best to recreate the in store experience online. What customers derive the most value out of your platform? Companies with physical goods, companies that have something that they need to explain, something that's demonstrable about the product, and something that benefits from explaining it on video rather than on a conference call or screen share, something like that. Even though it's been a short time since we've chatted with you, a lot has changed. Maybe tell us about some of your experiences since the last time we saw you. Yeah, so last time we did the uh, Meet the Startup video, we were actually part of another company. So we've spun out, we joined the Portland Seed Fund. Uh, we competed in the Angel Oregon competition and won that, uh, which was fun and really exciting. And since then we've closed a full Series A round. What were the benefits of Portland Seed Fund for you guys? Uh, definitely the, the managers, the people, you know, I think that's a common theme between our company. We definitely believe that people are best communicating things. That's why Brand Live is about putting people in front of a camera on a web page to interact with end consumers. In theory, everybody is going into the Portland Seed Fund to raise a bunch of money, but that doesn't happen necessarily with 10 companies. So some, you know, some companies it's an aggressive fundraise, some companies it's more focused around product and getting, you know, hitting your market right or building the right team. That's obviously a huge thing that every company at our stage is is struggling with is getting the right people on the team. I would say that's the biggest part of the of an accelerator program is who are the people that are running it mm -hmm. and how well are you going to get along with them and what can they contribute to your business. In our case, it was it was clear that we were going to go raise more money. Mm -hmm. And so Jim and Angela's connections and or their desire to help companies do that was a key decision for us to choose Portland Seed Fund. Um, what surprised you most about yourself and this journey as an entrepreneur so far? I mean, it definitely takes um, more than I was initially comfortable with of like pitching and selling to investors. This was in the context of hiring employees. And when you're an early stage company, especially when you've just done a seed round, or maybe you haven't even done that, right? You have a little bit of customer traction. You're trying to hire some people. Well, you can't pay them what they could get elsewhere. So I was talking to Angela Jackson from the Portland Seed Fund about this and she was you know, saying, you gotta build this sort of feeling of being on a rocket ship and the excitement and the where could this go and how could I impact that moving forward. So as a CEO and as a founder, you have to create that. You've gone through a number of milestones. What's next? Where would you like to go with Brand Live? It's really all about the customers and the customer experience and making sure that they're having, um, you know, huge success with the platform and then everything, you know, cascades down from that. Um, being able to, um, you know, somebody recently asked me what my goals are for the business now, you know, are you looking to get acquired or whatever? And there's really three key things that I think about. The first is, you know, if we can have a lot of success with our customers, they're getting lots of value and we're effectively charging for that value, then we're a profitable business and we are in complete control of our destiny. Mm -hmm. Also relating to our customers, if we can get really big brand names to use our tool uh, early and often and you know, start to see high, really high levels of adoption, um, that creates economic value in and of itself because that's a difficult thing to do. And so that starts to bring in the, the potential or opportunity for acquirers being interested in us to continue to grow with those customers or just buy us for the portfolio, et cetera. Um, and so that's, you know, that's a key um, component that we're driving towards. And then just the structure of the business. How do we charge for it? Um, how often are people using it? Um, and who are those people? Which is sort of the, the underlying of the first two components then you know we'll be uh, a good acquisition target and we'll make you know returns for our investors and for our founders somebody would be entrepreneur watching this piece right now what piece of advice do you have for them first of all i would say definitely do it right you can't you don't you're not never really going to know until 
you start trying something. Um, and then the second piece is it takes way longer than, than you think. So you really you have to stick with it. If you really believe in what you're doing, you know, there will be wins along the way. There's going to be milestones along the way. Um, but at some point, you've got to you know, take that leap of faith. Hi, I'm Kristen Hammond with Jones Lang LaSalle, and today we're in the offices of Explain in downtown Portland. We're going to meet with Eric Wood, the CEO, and hear why this 18,000 plus square foot space works so well for their operations. Hi, I'm Eric Wood. I'm the CEO of Explain. Uh, Explain is a design consultancy based here in Portland, Oregon, uh, with offices globally. Uh, but our focus is uh, exclusively working with Fortune 500 companies to understand um, their needs for major change programs, envision the change that they desire, and then build and execute the programs to drive change across their organizations. Our space is absolutely focused on being an open and collaborative space. We're in a creative industry. All of our teams are based on uh, collaborating and sort of bubbling up new ideas. We try to create opportunities to create commons, places where people um, interact and intersect and out of that come these great outcomes. When we started working with Kristen Hammond uh, to sort out what our requirements were for our space, we identified a number of things that were really critical to us. We wanted to have access to public transportation, some basic amenities like uh, bicycle storage. I think we've been very mindful about trying to create a pretty consistent employee experience in each of our offices, which is why we've taken the requirements for these offices so seriously and put a great deal of effort into finding exactly the right property. Um, that's no small task, um, and working with a partner that can actually um, really understand our needs and take us to the, uh, the options that are appropriate for our needs um, was really critical in our ability to find the right spot in each of our markets. And ultimately ended up with a uh, fantastic and ideal location in a um, a modern building uh, designed by Pietro Beluski in the West End, which really met all of those requirements. Well, definitely it's exciting. You know, there, there is definitely this feeling of momentum and a feeling that there is support there. 